Okay, in this video, we're going to solve this problem right here. Now, because our limit is approaching infinity, we have the square root x squared plus 3x plus 10. All we really have to care about is the highest power. So we get to get rid of 3x and plus 10. Now, this is important. The square root of x squared behaves like the absolute value of x. And so let's think about this. Let's say I plug in a negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 gives you a 9. The square root of 9 is also 3. And the absolute value of negative 3 is also 3. Now let's say if I plug in a 3. 3 squared. 3 times 3 is 9. The square root of 9 is 3. Likewise, the absolute value of 3 is 3. And so we get to draw this little quick piecewise function. So instead of even dealing with absolute value of x, it will behave like x and negative x. And it behaves like x whenever x is greater than or equal to 0. And it behaves like negative x whenever x is less than 0. So let's think about this. Let's say x is 3. 3, 3, match. Let's say x is negative 3. Negative, negative 3 is a positive 3. Absolute value of negative 3 is also 3. So it's a match. Now we're dealing with the limit as x approaches negative infinity. So our case, it's going to behave like this one right here. So we have the limit as x approaches negative infinity. And we can say we have the square root of x squared plus x. But again, we're saying that x, the square root of x squared is like negative x. So let's rewrite this. We have the limit as x approaches negative infinity. This piece right here is negative x plus x. And so if you were to replace x with negative infinity, you would get a negative negative infinity, which is infinity. And then here you get negative infinity. So that's an indeterminate. That's a big red flag that you have to approach this problem differently. This isn't sufficient because you can't say the limit will approach zero. Whenever you have infinity minus infinity, stuff like that, that's called an indeterminate. With that said, what we're going to do is try to use something that we learned before. We will multiply by the conjugate and maybe if we're lucky, it will end up working. And I'll show what I mean by that. So we'll have the square root of x squared plus 3x plus 10 plus x and we have the limit as x approaches negative infinity. And so what we're going to do is multiply by the square root of x squared plus 3x plus 10. And this is in order to get rid of the square root. And instead of a plus x, I'm doing a minus x. Again, we're multiplying by the conjugate. So then we'll do the other piece. The square root of x squared plus 3x plus 10 minus x. Now we do the limit as x approaches negative infinity. So we'll take this piece and multiply this piece. So the square root of x squared plus 3x plus 10 times the square root of x squared plus 3x plus 10. The square root cancels out and you just get x squared plus 3x plus 10. Now we'll take this piece, the square root piece, we'll multiply by negative x. But at the same time, you take an x and you're going to multiply by the same square root piece. So they cancel out. So that's gone. Now we have x times negative x, which gives us a negative x squared, divided by this piece right here. So we have the square root of x squared plus 3x plus 10. Outside, there's a negative x. And now we have x squared minus x squared, which cancels out, cancel out. So let's rewrite this. We have the limit as x approaches negative infinity for 3x plus 10 divided by the square root of x squared plus 3x plus 10 minus x. Now, because our limit is approaching infinity, we get to just focus on the highest power. What I mean by that, this piece right here is a square root of x squared plus 3x plus 10. This piece right here is really non-essential because we're working with infinity. So we have the limit as x approaches negative infinity for the numerator stays, so 3x. And again, because we're working with infinity, we don't really don't have to care about this plus 10. It's like non-essential, divided by, and we're saying that the square root of x squared, in our case, is gonna behave like negative x. So we'll have negative x minus x, and let's see what we get. So we get the limit as x approaches negative infinity for 3x divided by negative 2x. The x's cancel, and so our final answer is 3 divided by negative 2. And that's all we need to do for this problem.